we're going to continue and finish our discussion of drainage fittings by looking at fittings that connect pipe together and adapt to other types of pipe. So here we go. Let's start with this fitting. This is a coupling. This is the most basic form of connecting two straight sticks of pipe together end to end. We continue it in a line. Now pipe often comes in a limited length, 20 feet or so, or we may even have scraps that we need to connect together. Coupling is the way to do it. This one is a two inch PVC coupling. Next we have reducer couplings. These are fittings that connect pipes together end to end, but they'll reduce the size of the pipe. For example, we have a two by inch and a half bell reducer. The bottom one is a three by two bell reducer. These are bell reducers, but they are also a coupling that connects two ends together. Now a bell reducer fastens to the pipe on the outside of the pipe on both ends of the fitting. Here we have a bushing. A bushing is different than a bell reducer because one side of the fitting fits inside of another fitting. It has the outside diameter of a pipe, but the inside of the fitting is a receiving end and a pipe can fit inside of that. Here is another example of a bushing. This is a three inch by two inch PVC bushing. This next fitting is an adapter. This allows us to go from PVC pipe with a glued connection to a threaded connection. These threads are iron pipe size. This particular one is one and a half inch male adapter or male iron pipe thread adapter. And you can see it has the male threads on one end that can thread into a threaded fitting and we can connect a pipe into the other end of this adapter. Similar to the last adapter, this adapter transitions from the glued PVC joint to a threaded pipe, but this time it has female threads. So a pipe can be threaded into this adapter. This particular one is a two inch PVC female adapter, or once again, this is FIP, female iron pipe adapter. If you're going to be a plumber, you have to know what a P-trap is. A P-trap is this fitting. This is a glued P-trap. So each of the connection points would be glued in place. This trap keeps a liquid seal and we always install a trap right by the fixture. It would be below the sink or below a shower drain or whatever we're trying to catch drainage from. The purpose of a trap is to keep that liquid seal so that sewer gases cannot come back into the building. So once again, this is a glued trap. We would call this a two inch PVC glue trap. Here's another example of a P-trap, but this trap connects in a different way. We use a nut and a washer to seal each of the connection points. It is called slip joint. These are most commonly used in places that are accessible, like under a sink or in a cabinet, where we'd like to be able to take those drains apart without having to cut them apart because they've been glued together. We use what is called a flange fitting to connect a toilet. A flange is a big flat ring with connection points for bolts or screws or other hardware. So this particular fitting is used to glue onto a piece of pipe. It creates a flanged connection where the toilet can fasten to the pipe and we call this a four by three closet flange with an adjustable metal ring. Now that metal ring can actually slide around. You can adjust it and set it in place so that the bolts of the toilet will come up right where they need to and the toilet can fasten securely to the pipe and tight to the floor. Now this is called a four by three because it can glue into the inside of a four inch PVC pipe or onto the outside of a three inch PVC pipe. So this fitting can be used with either size. Here we have another flange. It is very similar to the first one we looked at. It would glue onto a PVC pipe, but instead of having an adjustable ring, the entire flange is one fitting. So it would need to be adjusted as it is glued into place so that the bolts will line up correctly with the toilet. Once again, this is a four by three plastic closet flange. This could be glued into the inside of a four inch pipe or onto the outside of a three inch pipe. Now in order to install a toilet, we have to have that pipe a certain distance away from the wall. And sometimes we're off by just a little bit. For example, if it's coming through a concrete floor and we didn't know exactly where the wall was going to be. So this is an offset flange. It gives us the ability to offset or move that flange over by about an inch and a half. And we can correct the center and get it to where it should be. So far, we've looked at a lot of PVC fittings, but what we're looking at here is a coupling that can be used on PVC plastic or on any other type and is most commonly used to connect cast iron pipes together. These are called no hub bands. The top one is a two inch no hub band. You can see that there is a rubber 
coupling inside. Outside of there, it has a stainless steel sleeve with two hose clamps, which are tightened down, and that creates the seal against the pipe. When they get larger, like the six inch no hub band that we have on the bottom, they add more hose clamps to really cinch that down and hold against that larger pipe size. But it's basically the same thing with a rubber coupling inside that gets compressed against the pipe to create the seal. Here we have another type of drainage coupling used to connect pipes together. It's similar to the no hub band in that it uses a rubber coupling to make the seal with hose clamps to compress and tighten. But this time you can see it does not have that sleeve that wraps all the way around like the no hub band. Fernco is a company that makes these. There may be other brands or names, but these are commonly referred to as a Fernco coupling. The one on the top is a four inch Fernco coupling. They also have reducer couplings. So the one on the bottom connects on one end to a four inch pipe and on the other end to a three inch pipe. So it is a four by three Fernco coupling. These couplings are primarily used for drainage piping that is below the ground. Let's look at a few floor drain options. Once a P-trap has been installed and a stand pipe comes up vertically from the trap, this simple floor drain can be glued right on the top of that stand pipe. Here we have a four bolt shower drain. This drain is specifically used for showers. The pan is a big rubber membrane that goes underneath this shower. The pan runs underneath the tile or cultured marble or whatever the finish on the shower is. And the pan connects into the flange where there's four bolts below the shower drain. And that way if the shower ever leaks from the tile or anything, the water will not be going into the structure of the building, it'll be collected into the drain. Wow, that may have seemed like a long list of fittings, but you made it through. And we have covered a lot of the basic stuff that you'll need to know. If you're familiar with these fittings, understand what they are and what they're named, and the way that they're used to connect and transition pipe, you're gonna do great.